In this video, I'm going to share with you the best base defense for the bunch tight end in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time down to your day to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips that we release every single uh, day here on YouTube. And if you want to unsubscribe, if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. That being said, let's dive into the video. And we're going to show you my favorite, at least my favorite base. And what I mean by base is just that, base. It's not the only coverage. It's not the only coverage I'll run whenever I play somebody. But it is the number one or the, at least the starting point of the foundation for how I'm going to try to defend the bunch tight end. And the bunch tight end, a lot of people don't really realize how good this offense really is this year. P boot over is still just as good, if not better than last year in a lot of different ways. It's also really good because it has great pass protection and it's got great alternate plays like stick, curl flat corner, and inside switch. So that being said, let's dive into the video and I'm gonna share with you a excerpt out of my nickel or my 46 defensive guide. If you wanna get my full 46 defensive ebook, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video. You can get that defensive guide it's on sale for just $15. So if you want to get the full game plan, there's a link in the description where you can get access to that. It's a great way to support me as a content creator as well. Okay, so cover four show two, we're going to put that in our audibles out of the nickel 335 wide. And we're going to come out in the cover four drop. And what we're going to do is in our coaching adjustments, we're going to put our ball on air, uh, ball on air defense to play ball. Auto alignment, we're actually going to set our auto alignment to uh, base align whenever we're defending gun bunch tight end. We're going to put our option defense on conservative, and then we're going to put our flats on 30, our curl flats on 5, and our hook curls, we're going to put those on default. Okay, so I like to come out in the safety nickelback package, as you see here at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It's going to give me a couple different unique adjustments to this coverage. But that being said, let's dive in. And again, we're going to audible down to the cover four show two, just like this. And the setup is honestly super, super simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put both of our outside corners into cloud flats. And then what I like to do is I like to take Adrian Amos over, over on the uh, over on this side. And I like to put him into a vertical hook zone. And then on this right side, really, really important, what I like to do is go ahead and I like to take this defensive end and man him up on the tight end that's going to stop any delay fade whatsoever and then really important with this linebacker put him in a curl flat not a quarter flat you need to put him in a curl flat so he'll play the drag and then you're just going to use her over the middle of the field now your primary user responsibility is really going to be in the box from the left defensive end to the right defensive end that's really where you're going to really make your money. Let me show you how this plays PA boot over the best play in bunch tight end. We'll just show you. And again, you're going to see here. Now, what's great is these cloud flats just absolutely suffocate the crossers. The crossing route from bunch tight end. I still think that it's the best crossing route in the game. Um, just because of the depth that it gets to. Um, and as you saw right there, just absolutely bagged that crossing route. Now, the cool part about this is let's say that they want to run something like the play curl flat corner. What you're going to notice is this is going to be a really good defense for curl flat corner. Now, again, what I like to do is I like to man up the square receiver in case that square receiver goes on a vertical route or whatever we're going to be pretty safe and then from there we're going to put two uh, cloud flats on the outside we've got our defensive end and man coverage on this guy and again if you don't want to man this guy up you can drop him in a vertical hook you can either man him up or drop him in a vertical hook either one is going to work fine for the coverage and then you're going to see right here that if they run that play curl flat corner i just want you to watch that corner route that cloud flat is going to bag the corner route just like that every single time it's going to shut that corner route down so that's kind of the foundation of how i like to defend bunch tight in in madden 22 obviously there's things open but the outside the ability to hit those rollout crossers those rollout corners as well as a delay fade to the tight end with the defensive end being a man coverage on him really really significantly reduces the risk of running into stuff like that so that is how i personally like to defend bunch tight end at least how i like to start now in the ebook we actually unpack several different ways that you can defend this formation as well as how you can defend things like gun bunch 
gun tight offset, uh, gun spread, gun U trips, uh, gun trips tight in, some of the best offenses in the game. We're going to help you shut them down in Man 22. So defense is really, really hard in Man 22. So we've been putting a ton, and when I say a ton, I mean literally a ton of hours into building this defense, learning the coverage schemes, learning the tricks, the tools that we have, and the 335 normal to 335 wide. The reason I like it is because it gives you the most amount of bang for your buck in terms of coverage schemes. You can do anything. You can run match, you can run man, you can run zone, you can run zone drop, you can run cross man, you can run um, unique different, like I call it the Tampa 3, where you're basically putting everybody into thirds, really good coverage. So the bottom line is if you want to get better on defense, the first place I would start is with that 46 defensive guide. Um, it's the defense that I think every pro by the end of the month of September will be running. And the reason why is because it gives you the most amount of tools to shut down the meta offenses. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get that 46 defensive guide, there's a link in the description. All you got to do is click that link in the description. It takes you right to the website where you could get that defensive guide for just 15 bucks.